All right, in this video, we're gonna be covering how to install the new Empower off-road four-inch fascia silicone lens for both the spot and flood type optics. And let's go ahead and open this one up. First, we have warning and warranty information. And let's go ahead and get all the rest of this out of the box here. And we have a light. This is a floodlight type. And also included in the package is gonna be any kind of uh, additional warning and warranty information as well as any hardware that you might need to install the light. Now let's go ahead and open it up. And we're just going to kind of get down to the, the brass tacks here. So light and the short screws that come with the light. Now when we go ahead and open up the bezel that the light fits inside of, we're going to have the bezel, we're going to have the gasket that the bezel sits inside of, and a longer set of screws. What we're going to be doing with all of this today is installing it inside of a vehicle, specifically a Ford F-250. And I'm going to do a walkthrough of all the different steps that you're going to have to do to take the vehicle apart, put the light on, and then reassemble the vehicle. And that's going to additionally include like which of these hardware kits that we're going to end up using. Now we're not going to show this part in the video, but we are going to extend these wires. So we have a power wire, which is red, the black wire, which is ground, and then the green wire, which is kind of a low power type function. Now we're going to go ahead and extend the red and the black wires specifically for this installation. All right, now here's a diagram that's kind of showing how we're going to hook everything up. Uh, sometimes it's a little easier to see this on the screen. So here we have the light and the light is connecting to ground. And then additionally, the power wire is going up to a switch and that switch is going to be connected to a fuse and from the fuse to the battery. Now for our installation today, we're actually going to be using the upfitter switches that are built into the Ford F-250 that we're gonna be installing this light inside of. So we can actually skip the fuse part and the switch part because that's already built into the vehicle. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, for this installation, we're gonna go ahead and install these lights down by the tow hooks. Uh, there's two little pockets there just above the tow hooks. That's where we're gonna be installing these lights. And we are doing the, uh, the M Power spots in the amber color. So, the first step that we're going to take here is we're going to go ahead and remove the uh, the cover piece that sits just above the top of the radiator and the grill. So that whole cover piece is just going to come off and we're going to start by pulling a couple clips. And then we're going to go ahead and remove that upper cover, which exposes the hardware that allows us to take the grill off. And as you can see, it also exposes several moths and butterflies, which are sitting in front of the air conditioning condenser. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and take the front grill off. And this is gonna be six, six millimeter bolts using a 10 millimeter head on the top. And then there's two also hidden about two thirds of the way down in the grill. So we'll need to remove those. And then we can go ahead and start removing the grill. What you're gonna to wanna to do is pull it towards you so that the clips pop and then tilt it forward and make sure there's nothing that needs to be disconnected on the back side. Next, we're gonna go ahead and pull the tow hook covers which is done very easily just by grabbing the cover and kind of just pulling it towards you. It's easiest to grab it from the inside and just kind of work it around as you pop the different clips. And most of the time you can do this with your hands without the need for an additional tool. All right, so now we're back at the workbench and we're gonna go ahead and start by marking the light where it's gonna mount on the panel that we just removed from the truck. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and drill the holes for the wires to pass through. And I'm gonna start by using a 1 16th inch bit That'll make sure that I'm in the very right place. And if I'm off a little bit, I can go ahead and put a second drill hole in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and flip this cover over and take the bezel and put it on the backside and kind of line up the center point where I just drilled that hole to the center of that bezel. And then I'm gonna go ahead and mark and drill the two screw holes using that same 1 16th inch drill bit. Next, it's just a matter of opening up that center hole to make it big enough so that the wires can pass through. I'm going to go ahead and take it up to a uh, 3 8 with a step bit, which tend to give you a little bit more control and also prevent the drill from kind of pulling you in. All right, so the next step is going to be taking the light and the bezel and moving it into place. And using the longer screws that came in the plastic bag with the bezel, we're going to go ahead and secure those to the panels using a number one screwdriver. And for our installation, this process is going to be repeated on the opposite side of the vehicle using the other bezel that fits over the other side's tow hook. The next step is gonna to be to run the wire from point A to point B. So in this case, point A is gonna be the light and point B is gonna be our switching source and a ground. 
So I'm gonna run the wire up for this installation right up the front of the radiator following the wiring that's there. And then I'm gonna sneak it back behind the air filter to get it to the point where we're gonna make our ground and our connections to the switching source. Here's an image of where we made the ground, which is right alongside the fender on the passenger side of the vehicle. And here I am making the connections to the vehicle. And again, I'm using the upfitter switches that are built into the vehicle um, for both my power switching and fusing. Now, once all those connections are made, it's probably a good idea to test and make sure everything's working before you go ahead and start putting everything back together. So here we are flipping on switch number three, which we're hooked up to, and you can see it turning on the amber lights that are now mounted just above those tow hooks. All right, so now that we've had a successful test, it's time to start putting things back together. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by putting the grill back on. And the back of our grill actually had a, a washer hose connected to it, as well as a sensor um, that's connected. So we're gonna make sure that all of that gets reconnected. And then it's just a matter of putting on the top cover and cleaning it up after you're done. And here's a quick image showing what these lights look like at night. Notice the great illumination that the Empower fascia spots create for this vehicle. It's a lot of light in a very small package. 